Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're checking out the new update for the Greenleaf Studios Final Fantasy VII Remake Tifa Lockhart 1 4 scale resin statue. So the statue was announced a couple of months ago and uh, yeah, it's a super nice piece. I've always been a fan of the statue. And I've got to say, these new in-hand photos are just amazing. I love the look of the statue. And I think they've done a really great job here. I know some of you guys mentioned that uh, you don't like the look of the new statue. And while I do agree that it does look a bit different, I still love this piece and I love the sculpting. I think this is one of the best Tifa statues out there, in my opinion. And if I didn't have the Pink Pink Studio Tifa on pre-order, I probably would have pre-ordered this statue instead. I'm really debating whether or not to pick up the statue. So who knows, I may actually pre-order this piece. I've actually got the Greenleaf Studio, Resident Evil, Claire Redfield, 1 4 scale statue. And that piece turned out just absolutely amazing. It was actually my first resin statue, and I was just so impressed with that piece. So I really do believe that Greenleaf Studios are going to do a great job on this Tifa. It seems to be released sometime around the third quarter of 2021, so we still have quite a long time left to wait. But uh, yeah, I just really can't wait to see how the statue is going to turn out. It's also a pretty limited edition piece of 399, so I'm just surprised that the pre-orders are still open. But uh, yeah, what about you guys? What do you think of the statue? Do you guys like it? Do you dislike it? And are you guys picking up the statue? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's take a look at the face. And yeah, I just think this face is so nicely done. Of course it still doesn't look 100% like Tifa from the game. But just one thing to keep in mind is that these statues are not official. Because a lot of you guys always seem to ask why this statue does not look like the game. These are made by third party companies that have no official ties to Square Enix. So they're never gonna look completely accurate. So yeah, I just want you guys to keep that in mind when it comes to these resin statues. We're yet to come across a statue that has a good resemblance to the game, so I just think for what the statue is, they've done a great job, it's still one of the best sculpts out there, and I would gladly pick up this piece. Okay, so as for the body sculpts, I think it's a pretty close match to the original promotional photos. The clothing is made out of real fabric, and it is cast off. But yeah, I mean, just look at all these sculpting details in the body. They've done such a great job on the anatomy. It just looks super realistic. And yeah, it's just some of the best detailing that I've seen out of all these resin Tifa statues. And if the statue turns out anything close to these photos, then I'm going to be really happy. Even the paint job seems to be pretty nice. And it does look pretty realistic. I just think, in my opinion, that Greenleaf Studios are one of the best companies when it comes to these resin statues, from my own personal experience. So yeah, if you guys are looking to pick up this piece, or if you guys have the statue on pre-order, then I would say you made a good choice, and I think you're going to be very happy with this. So yeah, this is a great update, and it's pretty good news from all the awful Tifa statues that we had in the past couple of weeks. So this is just a breath of fresh air, and I'm so happy to see that things are going well for the statue. So yeah guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to have a lot more Final Fantasy VII videos on the way, so be sure to hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, have a great day, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Alright, have a good one guys.